So, good morning, and today we are going to talk about how not to create enemies in our minds. We all know that uh, when we look around ourselves at our friends, families, there isn't any united front. Not everybody are thinking the same. Whether it is the price of the electricity bill, or whether it is if our president is a good one or not a good one, so we can all see that even in, in, within our own group that we love the most, each and every person around us has totally different points of view on life, on politics, on everything actually. The amazing thing that is happening now that we can all see is that uh, once a great mobilization into the army was declared in Russia, you could see that many people are trying to flee the country. Many people do not want to participate in this, in this war. And so this great mobilization can show us how we are many times in our life use generalization, overgeneralization in our minds. So what do I mean? So when we say Russia, this word is generalizing that all the people who are living in that specific area, in this territory, are the same. <laughs> it is just like when you, if you would say America, people who are from this origin or that origin, they don't agree. Each one of them have a totally different point of view on life. And so also in Russia. And so the problem, how can we, how can we get out of anger? Once we meet, and I, I lived in the Middle East for <laughs> most of my life, so I know anger, I know hatred, and I know how it means that you want, that you know that there are people who want you gone. But also I realized that if you touch one person from the other group, only one, and you talk about, talk with him about emotions, you talk with him about the things that he likes, then you suddenly realize that no, he himself is not your enemy. And so at that moment I started realizing, oh, I'm living in this Middle East filled with hatred, but I don't want to be a part of this game anymore. I don't want that wherever I go, I will carry hatred in my own mind. Yes, there are dangers and I need to be well aware of where I'm visiting <laughs> and where I'm not. But at the same time, where I'm living my life, I want here to be peace and quiet, love and kindness. And so I have many friends from many countries. So whenever you find yourself hearing these great words of groups, like those yellow people, those orange people, those purple people, those countries, these countries, always remember in your mind, no, let's check the individuals. Let's check the individuals and like this, I will not be caught up in anger. I will not be caught up in, in hatred and I will liberate myself from those things. So I, as always, of course, we cannot uh, ignore the human tra tra tragedy that is now happening to so many people. And so let's develop the kind heart and wish them all to be safe, to be healthy, and to be reunited with their loved ones. Want to learn more about happiness? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and book a seat for a seminar or a private meeting on our website, monkedan.com.